Hi guys and gals. I uh, I thought I'd take a box down off of the shelf, and uh, this was the box I took down. Willow's Chipmunk DHC one, maybe build it. I don't know. I've taken the box down to see if I can get inspiration. Um, let me angle you down a bit. And I'll show you what I've got here. Obviously a plan. It's not exactly um, not exactly a complicated model to build. Leading and trailing edge. Quite heavy wood by the feel of it. Wing spar um, long ones and tail and what have you, spars, is 16th square. The formers, not too heavy that sheet. The main keel, I suppose you'd call it, and wing ribs, again, that's quite a light sheet. And another, oh, it's not a keel actually, it's a fuse off side. I haven't looked at the plan yet. So it's Quillow's kit number 903. Um, the other little bits I've got out of it are the vacuum formed cockpit and vacuum formed nice decal sheet. It's not going to take a lot of building. It'll need to be probably covered in something other than tissue. Cute little aeroplane. Always liked the chipmunk, never built one. Do you know what? I think I'll build it. I don't know about you. I always start with the fuselage. Then I build the tailplane. And go on from there. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's what I'm going to do. So, my next model is going to be the DHC-1 by Grillo's. And when you think about it. When you look at the amount of balsa wood that's in the kit, isn't that amazing that this small amount of balsa wood can actually turn into a three-dimensional model? <laughs> I hope it's all here. Yeah, how can that be a flying scale model? But it can, so there you go. The Grillo's Chipmunk. So I've had a look at the plan. I've had a look at RC Group's forum and studied um, other chipmunk conversions to electric. So I'm all set to start now. So first job is to remove the um, formers for the fuselage. Let the build begin, eh? Now, the fuselage formers are here. Uh, they haven't pressed through very well at all, so a little bit of knifing involved. We shall start there. Okay, guys and gals, it's one former cutout and I'm going to continue with the rest of these formers and I'll come back to you when I've cut them out. So stay tuned. Morning guys and gals, it's a beautiful start to the day so I'm just going to do a little bit before I go outside. I'll cut out all the formers and I'm just about to join the fuselage side at the back as per instructions. I've got to glue about at quite an open angle the rear formers are going. Something like that. And that's it. I haven't notched the formers yet. I'm going to do that shortly. I just wanted to. The uh, next form is actually the front former 
A and C. Put that to one side, let it set off, and then I can, while I'm waiting, I can mop the formers. Former C, that one there, and to put some pencil lines on it. to file out each of those notches. I'm not going to attempt to cut them while I've got the pencil out. I'll do the others. Chocks away. I see 5A micro aces. Hi guys and girls. I'm just working my way through these little formers. You see I've done some already. Where are they? Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to do one on camera just to show you my technique. I'm using this little file here. It's a slightly smaller than a 16th. Just start it off. As long as you start it off in the right place, because it's less than a 16th, I can go slightly one way or the other if I need to. Like that one actually is slightly too high. So I just go down. Just judge a 16th. Yeah, you, you end up with a notch. I've done three already. Started with probably the most challenging one, but managed to do it without any breakages, so no problem there. So it's just a case of working your way around slowly but surely. Yeah, it says three done. I won't bore you with the rest. I'm just working my way around. So talk to you later guys and gals thanks for checking in I've finished um, filing all the little stringer slots in the formers um, I'll show you them look a B C I know my alphabet a B C D E, F, G. Let's put those down there. Look. So that actually didn't take very long. Okay, so let's get the fuselage over and uh, see what's going on. Right, let's have a quick look at the uh, instructions. I think they recommended putting in um, former C, was it? Um, C, A, and C. Okay, so they say, pop in former C, uh, but do not cement it at this time. So former C goes in here because we want to glue in former A and hold it with a rubber band. How's that going to be looking? How's that fit? It fits quite well. Fiddly diddly. Wondering if I can set it. Need a lightweight rubber band on there. Bear with. All right, there's the fuselage coming along, so I've got to put in now B, D, E, and F. So starting with B, former B, let's offer it in. Okay, basic fuselage. Right, last one for now. Formers glued in. I think we can safely remove the rubber band now. Next step. Gosh, it's coming yeah. together quick. So we just put that in there. What I'm thinking, if I put it down on there like that. And I can just tap it down, it'll be flush. Okay then, so that's the back piece glued in. And that'll want shaping around 
just to taper it back down into the fuselage side a bit. I'll just take off a little bit and I'll continue when it's dry. Okay, I'll let that dry now and then we can finish it off with the sandpaper or sanding block, whatever. Um, stringers. Stringers is what's next. 